we're going to start our brake check. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait until the air pressure builds up. And we're going to start with our air governor cut in pressure. The next test we're doing is the static air loss. We want to make sure with the spring brake applied, there is no air in the spring brake chambers. This provides parking brake, emergency brake, and service brakes. And the governor has cut in at 90, and how I can tell is because my needle was starting to build back up. We can put air into the spring brake chambers, which collapses the spring. Now we're gonna listen for the air governor to cut out, and it should cut out at no more than 130. Then the governor stops, and so it stays within that range. Okay, so we don't get too much air in the tank, and it doesn't drop too low so that the brakes don't function. If all the streets were identical, if the weather was always 70 degrees and clear, if every bus used the exact same braking system, if brakes could verbalize when there are issues, well, you get the picture. If we could just live in a perfect world where the need to maintain, test, and rely on brakes was never an issue, it would make life a lot easier for school bus drivers. But since that's not the case and never will be, Let's take a step into the real world and see what every bus driver will need to know in order to ensure that brakes on their school bus are safe. First off, let's consider the stress that is present when operating a school bus. Consider this. A school bus must navigate through a variety of different terrains. Whether it's a flat road, a steep mountain pass, or any other type of terrain, this kind of driving puts stress on the brakes. There are other things to consider as well. Weather conditions, be it rain, snow, or ice, each one of these conditions make it imperative that the driver has confidence in their brakes. Now that we have demonstrated the critical importance of braking on a school bus, let's move on to the next important issue, brake tests. Keep this in mind, every part of a pre-trip inspection is important. However, brake tests raise the stakes to a higher level. Brake tests must be done thoroughly they must be done accurately, and as we will demonstrate in this program, brakes must pass these tests. If they don't, the school bus must be taken out of service immediately. All of us are prone to lapses in focus from time to time. As we will see in this program, testing brakes is an area where maximum focus must be applied. And remember, the safety of the students you are transporting will depend on your ability to make sure the bus you are operating is safe. That's why understanding and applying the brake test is so important. In this video, we're going to go over these brake tests. We will cover both hydraulic and dual air brakes on the school bus. We will also cover the importance of inspection and maintenance on brakes and additional issues pertaining to the school bus brakes. Our purpose for this video? It is to explain these systems and their functions in a manner which is simple to understand. The video will be broken down into three separate parts. We will also go over how close observation can be a driver's early warning sign for any issues that may come up. Remember, safety issues that impact the safety of the braking system can't be ignored.